A quick little disclaimer. If you suffer from an eating disorder, please do not watch this video. This video does talk about weight and weight loss, and it may be sensitive to some viewers. And also, I want you to know that I love you no matter what your weight. I have no preference for anyone being any size. That is up to you. You are the one who has to live in your body with your weight and your size. Only you know your struggles. Only you know what you want from your body. And only you know where you want to be with your weight and your fitness journey. And also, please understand that the advice I'm giving and the motivation and the pep talk is coming from me, someone who has never been obese. I have been a little bit chubbier than what I am now. I have lost weight. And like all women, I've lost and gained a little bit over the years. And so the advice comes from my experience. It comes from what works for me. And if you need medical advice, medical attention, possibly some of the weight loss drugs, you need to discuss that with your doctor. I don't judge. I'm not saying what's right and wrong. Only you know what is right or wrong for you and your body. I want you to stop judging yourself for being overweight, for having weight to lose, for having gained weight. Ladies, our bodies will change. It will fluctuate. We are not static beings, especially females. We gain weight with pregnancy. We breastfeed. We have thyroid issues. We have perimenopause and menopause and hormonal things. But those are not excuses. Yes, they are reasons. Yes, they explain stuff. But I just want you to take the judgment, the shame, the self-blame out of your weight gain and just move on from there. If you want to lose weight, don't judge yourself for being overweight. Just accept yourself as you are right now. Most of us gain weight at some point in our lives. Not everyone, but most of us. Most of us struggle at some point in our lives to lose it. Most of us go through difficulties difficult times where we emotionally eat, where we eat the wrong things, we comfort eat, we turn to food to nourish our emotions, to comfort ourselves. And that's okay. But now is the time when you want to lose the weight, where you need to put the food down, turn to other things for comfort, and man up, woman up, put on your big girl panties and take charge of your weight loss journey and do this your way. But here's what I want you to do. Like number one, don't judge yourself. Love yourself with the extra 20, 30, 40 pounds, whatever it is. It's okay. It is okay. There is no rule that says you need to look a certain way, but you have decided that you want to lose the weight. And now this is your journey and it needs to become your journey for you. And I want you to stop looking to gurus and weight loss advisors, even me. <laughs> At some point, I want you to even drop what I say. And I want you to figure this shit out for yourself. Figure your body out. Figure your mind out. And it's more of a mental battle than you realize. Weight loss, I fully believe at least, in my opinion, it's 90% in your mind. And then when you take it to the actual steps, it's 80% food, 20% exercise. And I know some people disagree with that, but you've heard the cliche. You've heard the saying, abs are made in the kitchen. And what that saying means is that it is your diet that will reveal your abs, which is to say you already have abs. They're there. They're just under your abdominal fat. And to lose the abdominal fat, you need to eat less than what you expend in a day meaning you have to move more, you have to expend more energy in some way, and or you've got to eat less. So if you cannot get to the gym, if you cannot run, walk, move around more than what you are already doing, then you have to cut back the calories in some way. And I want you to pick the way. You must pick the way that's going to work for you. I can't pick the way for you. I can't do it for you. I have given you a diet. I will link to that video in the description box below where you could just follow that diet if you wanted to. But remember, it's a generalized diet. I don't know you. I don't know your path. I don't know your history. I don't know where you're currently at. I don't know what foods you like. I don't know if you are vegan, vegetarian, if you can't eat certain things, if you are gluten intolerant, lactose intolerant, that's up to you to figure out. And these things are not hard. People, ladies, with the internet, everything is Googleable. You can Google a million diets, smush them into one that works for you and just do it. But it is the mind 
that fucks out on us. <laughs> but it is the mind that freaks out on us. The mind goes, oh, this is too hard. Oh, I'm never going to do it. Oh, I'm in my 40s. I'm in my 50s. I'm in my 60s. It's too late. I'm too old. I'm too whatever. Hormonal, single, depressed, angry, sad. I don't know, busy, stressed. <laughs> we have reasons and they may be valid. I'm not saying that they are not valid. But I still want you to take ownership if this is what you want to do. And it may be that this is not the right time in your life to do this. That is okay too. You are a perfectly whole, valid human being with or without the extra weight. The extra weight is not the point. It is not the point. The point is your journey and what you want to do. So if you are ready to lose the weight, you can do it. And I know you can at any age, at any stage. That to me is, it, it's a non it's a non-issue. If you're over 40, if you're over 50, if you're over 60, any age, you can lose the weight. It is possible. I have seen it. I've seen it time and time again in ladies who do fitness shows, in ladies at the gym, in friends, in family members. I've seen it over and over and over and over enough times to say that for sure, if you are ready, you will lose the weight, but you need to be ready you need to want it. You need to want it more than you want to comfort eat. You need to want it more than you want to hold on to your old habits. And your old habits may be just one or two things that you need to drop. And you need to decide which habit you want to keep, which habit you want to drop. And let's say you know that there are five kind of habits that you are doing that are keeping you overweight. Late night binge watching TV and snacking. Maybe that is the one big one. Maybe it's having a dessert every night after supper. Maybe it's the 10 cups of coffee with milk and sugar. Maybe it's the drinking on the weekends. Maybe it's the takeaways that you guys have five nights a week. I don't know what it is, but maybe there are habits that you know. You know you are doing them. Or you know that if you reach for chips, you can't just have a small packet. You have the whole big bag. Or you know when you go through the McDonald's drive through you can't just order the one small burger. You want to order the whole extra large Mac meal with extra fry, extra, extra, whatever. Maybe those are your bad habits. You must drop them, but maybe the path for you, now you need to figure out your mind and what's going to work for your mind, but maybe the path is to drop one habit first. Do that for a month, then drop the next one. Do that for a month. So now you've dropped two bad habits. Replace those with new habits. Replace what you were doing with increasing your protein, increasing your fiber, but don't do like 10 big changes all at once, unless you are an all or nothing kind of person. But my gut instinct is that all or nothing thinking when it comes to weight and weight loss, it's too dramatic and then you will burn yourself out. But maybe, maybe it works for you. Again, you need to know your mind, your the way your mind works. So I'm not an all or nothing person. I'm a moderate, steady, slow and steady, wins the race kind of girl, which means I lose the weight slowly and steadily and then I kind of gain a bit and then I lose a bit but I just trudge along and when I lost the majority of my weight I haven't really gained it back since then. I've never gotten back to that high weight and I have kind of sort of sworn to myself that I never will because I just don't want I just don't want the mission the headache of having to lose it all again. So for me that is my motivation. I don't want the extra work <laughs> that the extra pounds will give me. But you may think, okay, you want to just swing all in and just lose the weight now fast. And maybe that works for you. Maybe that excites you. Maybe that motivates you. I don't know. You know. You know yourself. By now, you know yourself. And I mean, come on. There is so much information on the internet. We live in a time of information overload, which I know can be a problem. But pick a thing. Pick a path and just do it. And really, it's simple. It's calories in, calories out. Move your body. Eat less. But it's hard to do because of our emotions, because of our minds, because of all the chatter, because we get tired, we get exhausted, we get drained, we get overwhelmed, we get emotional, we get sad, we get stressed. And these things tend to make us want to say, oh, well then stuff it, just give up, I can't do it, it's too hard. But you know what? One hard day is not the end of the world. One missed workout is not the end of the world. One bad meal is not the end of the world. In fact, I would say include a bad meal now and then just to keep you on track, to keep you going. And remember, not everyone just has this linear, pro in fact, no one has a linear progress from being 
overweight to losing the weight. It's never linear. It always does this. It's okay to stumble and fall, but you have to get back up if you want to succeed on your journey. And only you can do it. I can't do it for you. So I say stop wasting time and money on expensive coaches, on trainers, on gadgets, on gear, on diets, on books, on anything. You just need to do the shit that you need to do. That it boils down to that. You've got to eat less and you've got to move more. And if you're at the point where you're already moving, you're doing the exercise, then you have to look at your diet. Clean it up, but clean it up in small bits and bobs along the way so that you don't overwhelm yourself. And when you get diet fatigue, take a break. I hope that this helps you. It's just a short burst of inspiration. Go get your weight loss goal. I know you can do it. It is possible at any age and any stage. Stop letting your mind tell you you can't do it. You can. Is it hard? Yes. Is it possible? Hell yes.